Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to the maybe last episode of the 3.16 pre-reveal for three guys in Discord. And uh, <laughs> we are uh, we are going to be talking today about the Atlas rework. Specifically as well, we're going to get into our Atlas passive priorities now that the Atlas has changed quite dramatically. One of the largest Atlas changes in recent memory, unless I'm forgetting something major perhaps, uh, in terms of uh, the actual way the Atlas is laying itself out. Now, we did have, obviously, with 3.13, there was a lot of changes there with watchstones and um, how the uh, how the bosses are working there. With Excuse me, with the Maven, not watchstones. Um, but it is a very noticeable change to the Atlas, for sure. Uh, so what are your guys' initial thoughts on the rework? Actually, you know what? I'll back it up. Let's talk about the rework. What do you, So what, what are the main highlighting points of the rework? I, I really like... Um, the fact that there are we we don't need to set up as many regions now. Um, I really like that they reduced the amount of maps. That's kind of a, a weird one. Um, I didn't really feel like we had too many maps to do, but I like that I have less maps to do now. Um, it never felt like too much, but now I like that it's going to be a shorter grind to set up the atlas. I really like this. Um, the fact that we're going to be able to once you're setting up your atlas initially on League Start, it's going to be much faster. The grind is going to be way less about i don't want to say half as much but it's going to be less definitely i do think yeah. though that it's going to be interesting for some people because the new levels of difficulty i feel are going to come in sooner depending on how you complete your atlas so that might be an interesting new hurdle that we need to overcome as well how what are your feelings about that one local i i love it i think the main thing that i'm happy about is no more of the go to the corner regions thing i hated that true every league true. it so feels true. like you're at yeah, your Atlas, you, you dropped into your Atlas and now you feel like you haven't actually started it until you get to the corner. And to get to the corner, you have to, like, there's optimal strategies. You know, if you run the wrong map, then you're just, like, nerfing yourself because now the wrong map's dropping and you can't get to the corner as quickly. It was just, it was so unintuitive, especially for newer players. And then on top of it, once you get to the corner, now you need to do this, like, leapfrog strategy. And again... Even for an experienced player, it just felt, it was just tiring. Mm, Whereas now yeah. you, you dropped into your Atlas and you're just going from the beginning, right? You're going to start doing maps, start, I don't know, when are we going to start spawning Conquerors? Probably like around a certain tier. Mm. I don't, did they say, actually? Because previously you had to get to the corner, which was around tier three. So maybe maybe around tier three, we're going to get that. So it's a good I question. I, d I don't think they said, not to my knowledge at least, but it yeah. it's... The corner point is great. I totally forgot about that. The yeah. corner thing was so frustrating. I really, yeah, I I really did not like that. It's just it's just simple, right? Because the amount of so to to your point, Sniz, about the maps, I agree. I I didn't mind doing all the maps. I didn't feel like there was a bloat. But I do think that for people who play less, you know, we're we're, we're probably in that upper echelon of play time here. Uh, so yeah. I think people play less. It's probably easier to to get towards the map completion or the atlas completion than in the past so that's great um i do it is a bummer right you lose some of your favorite maps right i'm sure we all had a map in there that we loved that we lost r.i.p beach r.i.p burial beach. a burial burial chambers oh, yeah. too burial uh. chambers. yeah burial chambers was my parandus farming strat which i know we agreed not to talk about but i just parandus <laughs> goodbye uh <laughs> that was where i did my parandus farming but anyway so there's a lot of so the map depletion is is on the whole good i think for the game the atlas changes in terms of the rework of the there was just a lot of zones. It was confusing. Some of them kind of sounded similar too, even just from like a small thing. And mm. I, I could confuse them in my head, you know, and then yeah. I'd make, I'd put the wrong map in and I'd, you know, it's when you're, when you're playing a lot of Path of Exile, it starts to become mush after many hours and you, know, you put the, uh, <laughs> you put the wrong atlas in, but yeah, typing, typing in great. Lex and the map stash tab yes. and taking a yes. map and then it's the wrong one. I, I'm not going to miss that. Yeah, honestly. And with this did come quite a change to the way Atlas passes are working now. Uh, before, right, there was eight regions, so you had eight. It was, it was, you could have a very specific strategy for very specific regions. Now it's a little, it's, it's, it's basically just broadened it, and the flexibility is there. So you're basically applying diff different points to the same maps, but it's less confusing, right? There's less. Uh, there's less specificity to having to say, oh, oh crap, I f thought it was in this region, and then you redo it. You know, it's 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 a lot easier in that way. Um, so, what are you guys' thoughts there? I know we'll go over the preferences or our preferences in a second here, but uh, how do you guys feel the approach was there? 
Yeah, I think it's great. So we're going to be getting the same amount of passive points per region, right? But there's going to be a greater number of passive points to choose from, right? So previously, again, what I felt was bad about it was there were eight regions, but a lot of people just focus on one, one or two, maybe. Yep. You know, once you get a good strategy going, you kind of just ignore everything else. Whereas now I feel like because everything's slightly more condensed, you could actually just run a greater variety of maps. Of course, there's still going to be people who are like, I am only going to farm Legion, but there's, I don't know, it's just, it's less sprawling, if that makes sense. There's just like less to deal with. So I'm, I really like it. Yeah. Initially, initially when they, re when they introduced the eight region, um, new Atlas with, with their individual trees, it was, interesting to me that specific league mechanics were present in two different regions like legion for example you that could too. find legion in Glenage yeah. and in new Vestier. but after maybe one or two weeks of testing people realized what the best region was and then they never touched the other region again so yep. they're grouping this and i i like the fact that i now know that this is the legion region i like this um but it it is interesting because they they did decide to remove certain things, right? It's, it, we This is something that we need to address as well. A few very, very interesting notables were removed from the Atlas mm -hmm. passives, which might affect certain farming strategies. I know uh, Legion, for example, is definitely going to be a little bit harder to farm this league or to make full emblems. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. So... Yeah. I like it. I like it, but I I think I think once I once I'm once I'm up and, and and running in a new league, actually playing with the atl the actual passives, I will get a better feeling for how I how I feel about the changes. But don't get me wrong, I do really like the fact that it's more condensed now. I do, and um, many people have complained about the amount of 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 passives that you actually get points that you get to allocate into these regions. How do you guys feel about that? Because I I'm fine with getting. 10 points, five big notables. Some people feel like since the regions were combined that they should get 10 points now. But if you, um, or more than 10, sorry, 20 points. But if you if you take a look at, at that, that might be a bit crazy in some regions. So so how do you guys feel about that? I I, I, I personally like how it's, the, the state that it's currently in. Mm. I like that you have to make a choice. I, I don't think that you should just be kind of handed every single passive available without, at least without, if you didn't have, if, if if they were going to give you the option to get all of them it should be hard to get which which was another route i think that you should take but if if the i think is just basically do conquerors get passives uh excuse me do conquerors you know just like casually mapping and you get you get all the passives that's not really that's not really great to me that just feels like it's just a straight up power creep buff to mapping which is i don't, I don't know I, I think that you i like you have to make a choice right now but if they were going to do the opposite route i think it has to be hard kind of like our previous discussion on how how do you fill out the whole passive tree for uh the new scourge mechanic is it going to be level 100 if it's if i hope that's the case right so it's not you do have to make somewhat of a choice um as opposed to just kind of giving everybody everything but it's an interesting it's an interesting thought for sure lock i wasn't sure your thought on that too yeah i agree and i think this is his point about how they've condensed it into each region now you know exactly what that region does like there's not legion in yes. two different zones which always felt a bit weird right i don't like that so now you're getting fewer points but i mean is it going to be more impactful i think so because you're actually going to be spending time in that region did it does it actually make a difference like you get you're getting half the points right but were you actually running all eight regions before i don't think yeah, well, so I mean, True. we get interesting combinations now that we didn't previously have, right? Like yeah. for for example, Lyra or Thane, you knew I was going to farm X primarily, and then I was going to use the the remaining two points on whatever else is profitable to do or what I enjoy doing. Now we have new combinations in all four regions. So interesting farming strats might emerge because of of these new combos that we have accessible to us. Uh, well, on that note, how do you guys feel about the the different individual regions? I think let's let's start it with Haywork. Haywork in three point sixteen will will give you harvest, essence, torment, ritual, metamorph, and gen. What do you guys What do you guys think uh, about the harvest start? Harvest and essence was typically very very popular in the past for league start. Do you still think that Haywork is going to be a very popular starting region uh, in in the first few weeks? Yeah. I think it's still going to be great. Harvest is still 
don't cancel me. Harvest is still really good. Oh, no, <laughs> so it's essences. Done. It's done last episode. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we're out this of here. Is over. Yep. Yeah, Deleting yeah. my channel after this. <laughs> but I mean, essences are still really, really, really good. And people like me, I'm lazy. I will buy, you know, like seven essences for an for an exalt or two. So if you want to farm those, you're not going to use them yourself. Sell them to me. I need them. I need essences all the time. And harvest crafts. I'll go on TFT and buy them. So there's a lot of money there. But what about you, Amosid? What do you think about these? I don't. So this is this is very much a personal preference thing. I am certainly acknowledging that harvest is very strong in the sense that if I wanted to sell, also I guess obligatory. Don't cancel me. Also, uh, I'm <laughs> acknowledging that harvest is quite strong. So if you want to, especially if you want to sell it in TFT, there's value there. I just don't like going into Harvest and killing those mobs. Those mobs are super frustrating to me. And that alone is enough reason for me not to take it. So when I'm thinking <laughs> about priorities, I don't take it for literally that reason because those mobs hit hard. Yeah. Yeah, they are scary. scary. <laughs> I'll bleep it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> those mobs hit really hard. And uh, they're, they're scary, especially early league. Those things will mess you up big time. And uh, I don't take it for that reason alone. Um, personally, I, essence is super strong though. hundred percent agreed. Essences, if you want to, if you don't mind selling them, essences are really strong. Um, but yeah. I'll back it up and say, what are you guys' priority list then for Haywark? What's, what's, what's going in first? What's going in? I mean, cause we have quite a bit of points now to play with here. So you can touch, you can touch on quite a, quite a different, uh, variety here than maybe in the past before it was kind of like, okay, you'll take, uh, you'll take maybe June in Haywark and also ritual. And that was pretty much it. That's mm -hmm. all you could do. Um, what are you guys' thoughts there? Yeah. Initially, in a new in a new Atlas setup, I try to take nodes that are either financially very beneficial or nodes that are gonna that are gonna help contribute to map sustain. Especially just setting up the Atlas yeah. early. I typically don't like trading for maps, so I like nodes that are going to help me with map sustain. In Haywork, yes, Harvest is still Harvest. I I still interact with Harvest. I do understand the power of Harvest. But that being said. The harvest nodes that we have in 3.16, they're definitely not the giga nodes that we had in 3.15. These are kind of underwhelming for me personally. Um, we don't have the rarer crafts, and I don't think we have Agreed. the higher tier beast That's nodes. That's true. So these are just, you're going to see harvest more frequently, but the harvest nodes are very underwhelming. What I think mm -hmm. I might do, I might spend one point and getting an increased chance for Harvest, because I still think Harvest is going to be good, especially in a league where we plan on breaking multiple items. Um, I still <laughs> think having an option to make more bases to brick is still a viable option, so I'm, I might go for more Harvest chance. And then, of course, Essences on League Start. You kind of don't have, an, you don't have a choice for Essences, right? Essences, they're just too good, and we have it on Zana. Yes, it's 1C more to use the Zana craft, but it's definitely still worth it. And then I might go for Ritual. I myself, yeah. ritual ritual's always Same. a nice little extra. You never know what you're going to find in there. And on leak start, you can True. find a juicy cold iron point. You can find a impulsa, anything nice. And even if you don't find something big, just the small currencies, they add up. Yeah, that's 100%. true. And Jun Syndicate is also True. excellent, right? True. You can you can get lucky and get like a paradoxica early. You can just farm Ashling, and not Ashling. What's her name? Katarina. And then <laughs> again. If you use the Forbidden Trove, sell sell the Ashling things. Those things sell mm. for like two or three X, four X mm. sometimes. So yeah. there's more money there. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. I I would say I'm definitely starting Essence for sure. I love Ritual. Ritual is one of my favorite league mechanics that's mm. still in the game. I do it every time I see it. I'm always yeah, excited. Same. And then and then I'd say about ten percent of the time I forget to to go to my garage sale at the end and take my items out. But, uh, you know, if I remember, I'm very happy about it. And uh, I would say that, so my order is probably going to be Essence, then Ritual. I would say do not sleep on Metamorph for money making. Yeah. Metamorph, if mm. you again, if you're willing mm. to sell that stuff, that's a lot of money right there. Early mm. in the league, those rogue Metamorphs hit really, really hard and they have a ton of regen. So I, mm. I that's why I'm kind of putting it lower on the priority list, especially for early league. But do not sleep on Metamorphs for sure. They are a loot explosion that is still something to be reckoned with. And then after that, I've got an extra points. So I think I'll take it in Torment. But Yeah, it's whole man. Yeah. That's the real yeah. point, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just that's uh, a, that's a spare. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take the harvest 
for the 10 percent sacred grove later in the league when my character's stronger and i feel more confident fighting those mobs but mm. <laughs> torment's not bad I mean, it, it used to be nuts seance used to be nuts it, when it was really? originally when they when they first came out it was really really strong yeah yeah it oh, was you're memeing yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Really? Oh, okay. No, Seance, Seance used to be really strong. Uh, I, I think it was up to the first 20 mobs or something. 20 rare mobs were possessed. Is that right? Something like that. Uh, and they have an extra 10 or 20% quant, I think, when they're, when they're touched by the, or possessed. Okay. They, it was good. It was good. It was a lot of loot. It was a lot of loot. Yeah, no, not, not memeing. Torment as a, as okay. a leak mechanic, trash. But in this Seance, good. <laughs> That's my view. All right. I'll give it a try next week. Yeah, it's an extra point. No it's an extra point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and leak start is an entirely different thing, right? Like any oh, yeah. any bit yeah. of extra quantity is goes a long way on leak start. Um, yeah. So I guess I guess that's kind of it for Haywork. How do you guys feel about uh, about Glenage? This is the 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 new home of Beyond Abyss Anarchy, which is the Rogue Exiles, Alva, and of course Legion. So I have some mixed feelings about this one. What? Mm-hmm. How do How do you feel about this one, Lolkahol? What's your opinion? I think. I think you should tell us. You you said you were super stoked about this zone, right? With the Beyond and the Legion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm stoked. Don't get me wrong. As someone who loves to just blast Legions all league, I am happy. But too. but they removed the, the notable that allows us to get 1% chance to drop a full emblem. Now, yes, I know you can still get that on Watchstones, but that's kind of a big hit for us Legion farmers. Um all in all, I'll probably still farm Legion. It's probably one of the most satisfying things in the video game for me. So I think I'll I'll probably still farm Legion. And with Beyond on the map device, having Beyond in the zone as well, I think for Glenage, I'm probably going to be a Beyond Legion gamer. How do you feel about that one, Armisen? Yep, you you took the words out of my mouth. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I le- I did a lot of Legion farming last league. And I I mean, Legion is is probably close, t- close top with uh, Ritual in terms of my favorite mechanics to run into. Early, my only thing is that early in the league when I can't quite pop every single mob in there, it doesn't feel quite as good. But um, generally speaking, I farmed the hell out of Legion. I used a lot, a lot of Legion Scarabs. I, the, the not getting the Timeless Emblem uh, drop is a big hit. That's a big, mm, big yeah. hit. Um, I know you can still kind of roll into them with Watchstones, but I think the, it's like a 0.04% chance or something per... Um, per watchdown right is that right it's Something it's a very like low percentage and you have yeah. to sacrifice the the, the marriketh or templar chance so exactly. it, it is a big hit yeah um, versus it was it was one percent for the original node which is yeah, so good yeah yeah on that note though when considering early things because beyond and legion early is definitely going to be a scary combo Yes. I do think Anarchy with the Rogue Exiles yep. isn't something that people should ignore early. So Rogue Agreed. Exiles drop an, an item slot or one piece of every gear that your character can equip, right? Um, now, on League Start, or later into a league, it's kind of trivial, mm. but on League Start, they drop nice uniques. They drop they drop quite a few rares. Rare jewelry is a good source of income early into a new league, and they're not that hard. Yeah. They'll, kick your, they'll, they'll, they'll kick your ass. Don't get me wrong. Rogue Exiles <laughs> can be very, very strong. But I do think it's something that people should consider early into a new league. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. And Elva. Elva's good, right? Yeah. You can always yeah. farm those, farm up some double corruption chambers or whatever. And there's money everywhere, actually. If you just take any one of these and focus on it, you're going to generate some currency. It might not be as much as Legion or whatever, but something like in Lyra, I think. I mean, we're in Glenna Kens now. But you don't have to have like a super OP character to farm incursions, right? You can do white tier ones just in white tier maps, farm a bunch of them, sell double corruption chambers. Don't know what they're going to be worth next week, but still, there's there's like something for everyone. That's a very good point, local, that I hadn't even considered. So with the Scourge mechanic, if people want to get the next level upgrade for their piece, for example, let's talk about a six link shavs. I think that's a very that's a very popular example. People are sure. going to want to double corrupt and then scourge yes. for very yeah. good in-game items. I hadn't even considered that. The value of double corruptions might go up by quite a bit. So farming mm. Alva might unironically be a really, really good strat. Maybe not early into the league, but maybe something the first few weeks after uh, the league start might be something that's very profitable to do. Because I hate Temple. I'll buy them. I won't farm them. I'll buy them. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's a good point. It's because previously, right, kind of the discussion we talked about earlier is corrupting as the last step or corrupting as kind of the initial step or at least an earlier step. 
Um, yeah. This kind of totally rebalances is where double crops fall into it now. I, I think there's going to be a lot more double crops being expended this league than maybe in past leagues, um, for sure. It's a good point. Exactly. It's a good point. Especially yeah. later on. Like, yeah. second second month of league? Oh, man. Those things are going to yeah. be... Everyone is going to want one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not so, it's not the final step now. It's the it's yeah. just a stepping stone to the final step. Okay, well, I guess then yeah. we can move on to to Valdos, the home of the Harveys. Um, so <laughs> so Valdos <laughs> in three point sixteen is going to give you Delirium, Harbinger, Ambush, which is strong boxes, Nico, and Blight. I this is out of my comfort zone. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to touch this zone. Ever since the Harby nerf, my my heart just can't go back to Valdo. It just doesn't feel the same. So um, <laughs> really how doesn't. do you how do you feel about that one, local? Do you have any interesting strats for us I for think, that one? Okay, so I did have an idea, right? So Delirium obviously is really good, makes tons of money, but it's really hard, especially with the the scourge mechanic. So I believe yeah. what how it works now is if you're in the alternate reality. What is that called, by the way? In Scourged Land or whatever? <laughs> Scourgeville, you can't, sure. Yeah, Scourgeville. All right, if you're in <laughs> Scourgeville, you can't trigger mechanics, but if a mechanic is already active, it'll continue in Scourgeville. Mm. <laughs> so if you have a Delirium <laughs> active and you go into that, it's going to be really hard, right? But and this, okay. is, this is probably so bad. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to do this, but you've got packed with energy from Nico, right? 35% increased damage for each Voltaxic, <laughs> Voltaxic Sulfide Vein chest found in areas, 15% increased movement speed, and 1% max all res. So, I know it sounds kind of meme but if you're going to really do high-end <laughs> Delirium content early on, and your character's not quite strong enough, you could maybe do packed with energy on top of it, just to help out. I mean, it sounds kind of memey, but it might actually be, might actually be all right. I think that's valid. I remember when yeah. they originally came out with the passives, and I, I don't remember if uh, it's still. I don't think it's still here. But uh, one of the nodes was Einhar does like a thousand percent increase yeah. damage, and that was actually pretty useful when you're kind of early in maps, and Einhar is just absolutely mowing down everything that comes into his, you know, <laughs> sphere because he already hits kind of hard, and then he get him in there. So I don't think that's totally crazy. My only thing is, is that those uh, orbs of unmaking are quite expensive, especially early in the league. So you have to be prepared to, uh, if if you want to pivot, you do have to note that you are going to probably pay what twenty chaos, thirty chaos to to undo that mistake, which could be a lot, could be a little, you know, depends on who you are. Um yeah. but yeah. It's cool. It's a good idea. It's interesting. Yeah. And blight. There's also blight in this region, right? That was my thought too, yeah. yeah. My my thought with this one was blight priority. Again, thinking about league start, where you, again to your point, Lock Hold Deliriums are hard early in the league. You know, you yeah. you know you you can't really again if you want to do anything with them, but those mobs hit really, really hard. So I was thinking a blight start followed by delirium, then I tack on the sad harbingers at the end, uh, which are, as you pointed out, Sniz, not not quite as satisfactory as they used to be. I, I had them I did them all league this league. I did a lot of Valdos and uh it's just a feels bad. It's just a feels bad compared to the old days, but it's not it's not totally trash, right? Yeah, it's still good for map sustain. Really good for map sustain. If you plan on doing uh, blight and you use the Harvey nodes, you're not going to struggle with sustain, and you can force both of those, right? The harbingers are going to be forced regardless. At least one pack is going to be forced, and then blight you can force with a rusted scarab. Whereas if you go for le or for delirium. Not only is Delirium extremely hard, Delirium isn't guaranteed because we don't have it on map device. Unless you do sure. yeah. uh, Delirium Orb, but that's that's kind of a different um, different type of uh, farming strategy. Right. Uh, okay, then I think, if no one has anything else to say about uh, good old Valdos, R.I.P. Harbies, I think we're going to yeah. talk about Lyra Arthane because I think this one is, is a very, very interesting one. So sure. Lyra Arthane is the region where we now can invest into Expedition, which is going core this um, in 3.16. For those of you who didn't know, apart from Expedition, it also gives you access to Heist, um, Beast Farming with Einhar, Breach, and Invasion. Now, local, you said you had a strategy for this one, so yeah. take it away with well, us. I, I'm not going to pretend it's my own, but I watched Spicy Sushi's video this morning. I'll link that video in the description, but he reckons that Breach. Breach plus Expedition is going to be super, super profitable. And once again, what's really nice about it is you don't have to worry about doing it in like tier 16 maps. 
some of these strategies you need to do in higher tier things. Like if you're going to be farming blights for blighted maps, you can't do it in white maps because, you know, then you're going to get white blighted maps. So you have to do those in higher tier maps. But this you can do in like white maps, yellow maps, and then farm up a bunch of breach stones, a whole lot of stuff. So that, and then on top of expedition, again, you're not going to be getting as many pieces of expedition, whatever, artifacts, but mm -hmm. it's it's money right there. So it's also interesting, the expedition combo with the scarabs, right? Because they're introducing expedition scarabs. And I think that's yeah. the way you want to force it because because none of the expedition points, correct me if I'm wrong on this, they don't give you an increased chance to spawn an expedition. So really, it's just you're juicing up the expeditions when they do spawn. And I think you're going to want to guarantee that with a scarab, uh, even if it's just a yeah. bronze scarab. Um, I think it's a good strategy. I think it's an interesting idea for sure. And that was pretty much what I was going to say in terms of uh, yeah. my thoughts as well. Yeah, I, I was going to do expedition and invasion and breach. Those were the three priorities for me. Invasion also kind of strong. It's kind of it's kind of a uh, low key, very strong for farming six links, especially or in the league. Okay. They, a lot of those valuable items are six links. Um, sometimes there we have Path of Exile, and I have a different understanding of what valuable means. Um, <laughs> but uh, but th in this situation early in the league, they are useful. The valuable six links are that's that's huge, huge value right there. And yeah. I, I, I also feel that the invasion bosses help with sustain. This might just be me going crazy, but sure. I have I have invested into them early into a new league. And then my sustain in that region, just because of those two nodes, it was a lot better than than any other region. I really, really like yeah. invasion. Um, and then on the note of breach, right? Breach is, is so good. Not only do we have very, very cheap breach. I think breach is like 2C yeah. on Zana. 2C. We have 2C from Zana. Mm -hmm. Then you can force another, a second breach with a rusted scarab, and you can force more depending on how much you want to invest per scarab. Oh, yeah. But the breach nodes themselves are so good. So for Legion, we lost, so we lost the good Legion node, right? The 1% chance to drop an additional emblem and war hordes. We, we lost that. But for breach, we, uh, we still have flash breach, right? The main reason that you want to do breach now, because it's just so much faster and so much more comfortable to do. But apart from that, we also now have the, the interesting nodes with the bosses as well. So all around, I feel that breach is an, an amazing, like an amazing spot for um for something to do early. Just as a fair yeah. warning, um, flash breach is scary early. Okay, <laughs> breaches early with 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 flash breach, they'll they'll um they'll do a number on you. So just be prepared for that. So I really like those. That's I think I'm gonna spend a lot of time and Lyra on myself this league. I really do think so. Yeah, breach is exciting this league too. There's there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot more to be excited about with breach than in the past mm -hmm. leagues um because in the past honestly sometimes i would be like they spawn so slowly they take so much time and i was just kind of like i would skip them i just, I'd just run past a breach no I'd, I'd trigger it and then i'd kill anything that happened to spawn as i was in my you know on my way but otherwise i wouldn't stop but i'm a little bit more incentivized to do more with that this league i think and i mean yeah. apart from the apart from the speed right like in legion farming it was always so exciting hearing that noise oh, yeah. and thinking oh damn is that a Marraketh emblem that i really just dropped this Marraketh emblem we now yeah. have that with breach with the with yeah. the boss drops and i know that that oh, yeah. already was on the atlas it was available to us but no one used that zone everyone farmed flash breach and now we have both of those combined so now breach yeah. is in a good spot honestly i i really sure, do sure recommend is. doing breach early Alrighty, well that is everything i think we covered everything we pretty much wanted to talk about here uh all in all very excited for these atlas reworks this is there's just so much positive here there's so much positive some of, again it's, i would not say it's wholly positive i don't want to sugarcoat it i would say there are some things that i'm again the legion that's that's a bummer i love legion but not it's not totally dead it's not totally dead by any means but um lots of good things here any last points you guys wanted to make no I'm really excited yeah, I'm excited as well. If it feels like your build is struggling, that's probably it's probably just because you're progressing maps faster because of less regions. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's okay. And yeah. the league mechanic itself looks intense as well. It's fine to to feel a little bit weak early. Yeah, I would agree. Cool. Well, with that then, let's outro. We may do a fourth episode. So we were originally planning to do uh, one episode dedicated to the passive tree rework. But as of recording, we don't have the passive trees yet. Uh, so should those arrive and we end up having time and being able to make that happen, we will. But uh, otherwise, you'll just have to be left in suspense about our thoughts on the passive tree we work. And uh, you'll just you'll just have to know that. Um, so otherwise, let's outro it here. Uh, we're on Lolcohol's channel. Lolcohol, you want to just give a quick shout out to yourself? Yep. 
yep, well, uh, <laughs> you're here. <laughs> so <laughs> click subscribe, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so you can catch me on YouTube at Amasid, mostly doing gambles, but also other stuff, hopefully this league. So if you like that kind of content, shoot me a subscribe. I love, I love talking to viewers. I love getting ideas from viewers. Let me know. Hmm. Sniz? And you can find me at Sniz on Twitch and on YouTube. Thank you, guys. This was, uh, this was fun. I enjoyed this. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get the past trip. We can do another one. But yeah, if hopefully. not, if not, I'll see you guys in guild chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where Jason? <laughs> yeah. Where Jason? Yeah. Where Jason? GGG, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'll, I'll see you guys next All time. All right, guys. Catch Bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Exile, you're making me nervous.